Caddis Maximus here. So I did it. I bought the 14-piece fractional uh, half-inch drive crow's foot wrench set. This is Amazon's uh, budget set. A lot of reviews. They seem to have improved them a little bit. They were really bad in like a year ago, two years ago. They seem to have <laughs> had enough returns where they've improved the quality a little bit. But to tell you the truth, for $60... Advertises chrome vanadium, even though these have a lot of funky stuff going on with them. Some of them have broaching that's, you know, it's not broached. These are punched. That's just a punched half-inch square. Uh, we have a pretty nice half extension here. and I mean, I guess the fit is tolerable, but it's, it's a little loose. I mean, they don't have any holes drilled in them. They don't have any little uh, undercuts, the ball detent. No stamping, just some basic laser etching. Uh... Besides that, generally, I think they're okay. As far as for $60, I mean, a, I mean these go from 1 and a 16th through 2 inches. And a 2-inch crow's foot wrench from Snap-on is probably going to be 60 bucks. <laughs> probably not. Probably, you know, 30 or 40 bucks. But you think why, you know, this set? Because it's hard to find half-inch drive uh, crow's foot wrench sets. Uh, the professional brands have them, but... I mean, they can be like $500, or nearly 10 times the expense of this set. And for what this set does, it'll work great. And a few times, you know, they do do other cheap stuff. You might notice here on the 1 and 7 eighths and 1 and 13 sixteenths uh, that it almost seems like the cross section of the jaw is a little bit thinner on the 1 and 7 eighths. And of course, that would be true because both these sizes, the 1 and 13 sixteenths and 1 and 7 eighths, are actually cut from the same stock. And speaking of cutting, I don't know, if, actually that, the chrome plating is better than what some of the early reviews said. Yeah, you can just see there, you can see these lines. That's because they had a cutter, uh, I believe the cutter came down, it may have come across, they may have had a whole stack of a particular size, and then these have a specially shaped milling cutter that just comes and cuts it all, so the, they're not broached either on the drive, or the driven, or the drive ends. As a result, they're a little bit wide, but they're not too bad. I should say they don't have a precision fit, uh, like maybe a snap-on, but they're not bad. Here we have a one, in a pretty good quality bolt. And we can see the fits, you know, more than what can be expected for a tool set, uh, where each, <laughs> like these half-inch crow's feet, where each crow's foot's like four dollars and ten cents. I mean, that's it was sixty bucks with shipping. I mean, and it's like ten, twelve pounds of steel. I mean, quite frankly, just 60 bucks shipped. I mean, shipping 12 pounds of steel uh, isn't... It's amazing how cheap these things are, that's for sure. And it's amazing how handy they can be. We will compare some thicknesses. They do at least did pay attention to that. So the very smallest, the 1 16 16th, is quite a bit thinner than, say, the 2 inch. The 2 inch is pretty darn thick. Almost a pound of steel by itself. Anyway, it does seem like the buckles on these... Uh, really early sets, they had when they were punching these, these punches would just be all over the place. Sometimes they'd be really close to the edge, and people would have problems with them breaking. As you can see here, uh, they've done at least a little bit better job. I figure it's kind of a toss up, depending on the quality of the breaker bar that you're using with these. Uh, I, I would say it's probably a 50, you know, one of three things either the fastener is going to come loose, you're going to round out the fastener. I don't think the forks are actually going to spread. They're, these things are pretty darn thick. And even if they weren't chrome vanadium, even if they were just carbon steel, uh, there's still quite a bit of cross-section there. Even on this 1 and 16th, uh, there's nearly as much cross-section here as there is on, a, uh, on the half-inch anvil. So I don't think you're going to really have issues with these jaws spreading. And even, you know, that would totally include something with maybe even thinner jaws like this one and seven eighths because quite frankly that's such a big fitting uh you know compared to the drive size that you're going to end up either twisting off the drive maybe breaking the buckle on one of these but anyway maybe i should talk about why the heck you would want big you know crow's feet are used for certain situations where you just can't really fit anything else and many times flare nut wrenches which are like these except for they have they kind of curve around, they have a slot so they can support a faster. 
there's lots of times where they're just not wide enough and they don't fit. And what you need is an open end wrench, but you can't fit the straight arm of an open end wrench. So that's the whole point to these is you can use a breaker bar, something like this. Be able to not only just get a little bit of an offset, uh, but maybe you need to have a bit of an angle, either upwards or downwards, to be able to you know, get out whatever you're working at. If you're working with hydraulics, uh, all sorts of plumbing, uh, fire suppression, fire sprinkler systems. Uh, if you work on boats, you'd probably be using these on a daily basis. And once again, one in the 16th through two inches. It is missing the one in nine sixteenths. It's missing the one in 15 sixteenths. A bit annoying. <laughs> I always, always annoys me when manufacturers do that, where it's like, for what they're selling it for, charge 70, or even 75, and give me the darn missing sizes, the, nine six, the one nine sixteenths, one the 15 sixteenths, uh, that way I'm not having, you know, these missing pieces, although the likelihood of needing both of the sizes is not as high, nonetheless, it'd be nice to have them, especially when they include every other one. And if you could charge 75, might as well throw some roll stamping on them. Anyway, uh, other advantages of these types of wrenches, especially with, if you're uh, especially dealing with boats where you have many fittings close together, sometimes you, they're installed where they're stacked in. The only way you can really get out is maybe at an angle or being able to do something like this, like using an extension to really be able to get a deep offset. Or, you know, there's many hydraulic fittings where... That's all the space you really have is for this crow's foot, so you can offset it and then be able to get some more torque with a, a wrench like that. And I guess the last thing to really mention is I do like using these with these types of uh, L-bar wrenches because these are just plain wrenches. You can use them. They don't wobble or flop around, but you have this kind of nice offset. Or you can, of course, turn them 90 degrees to be able to get that... Uh, kind of articulation or even be able to reach behind one fitting get behind there and be able to break it and then slowly loosen it up enough to where you can get at it with your fingers and so and even though they are thick it may not fit in all the spaces you need them to uh i don't mind it because at least it makes them a little bit stronger and when you since these are going to be used uh at least as far as i know i mean you of course can use these on normal bolts where you have uh, limited access, but you know, the big selling point is all these hydraulic and fluid fittings, plumbing fittings, that type of stuff. Um, and so I like the idea of having the extra width because it's just a bit extra surface area because you're only working on two sides, two surf, uh, two surfaces, much easier to round something out. So if you have the only way you can get more traction is to add width. And I do appreciate that. And they do come in this tray. So anyway, that's the review. I guess of Amazon's premier uh, half inch dry fractional crow's foot wrench set. I don't know if they have metric ones. They probably do, but they're probably a bit more expensive um, because less fractional is sold. But they certainly uh, certainly do run in enough fractional or 60 bucks for this set. And any of these that gives, gives me trouble, that's the whole point. You end up using the one and a half inch a bunch and end up breaking it. Or it turns out that their claim of being chrome vanadium, the advantage over carbon or carbon alloy steels, would be uh, durability and hardness. You just buy one, you just buy the one that you actually wore out from the tool truck, and the rest uh, you still have a nice set available for whenever you're working on other fittings. And for many people who may have occasional use for larger size open end wrenches, uh, that's another distinct advantage because you can buy this set. And then you can just use a big breaker bar, and that gives you a whole set of large open-end wrenches for a lot cheaper and a lot less weight and a lot less space than actually having full sets of combination box wrenches through two inches. That's for sure. I do have, I have sets of through bigger than that, and they are heavy, and they are bulky, and they are expensive and uh, to buy them as sets or to piece them together even use so this is really a, also a good option uh, like i said with the breaker bar just to get into a nice set of large open end wrenches anyway i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do till next time caddis maximus out